Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sampath YouTube channel, and this is Redmi Note 10 custom ROM reviews. If you have Redmi Note 10, the Mojito, subscribe to my channel. You will be receiving many custom ROMs and updates videos really soon. And you can see this is an Android 13 pixel experience ROM. Just yesterday it is released, but I am testing it for now couple of hours. Actually, more than 12 hours now. I have experience with this pixel experience ROM. I will share everything regarding that. Stay tuned till the end of the video. And by the way, if you first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. Whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. And if you like the video, give it a like and let's begin this video. You guys can see here the Android version is 30 and February 5th 2023 is the latest security patch available that's present in this room and February 18th build as I said before and kernel user is 4.14.190 pixel experience kernel has been used and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 15 minutes you can see last 13 minutes and 32 seconds and 8 milliseconds the maximum was around 180 million JPS, average is 138 million JPS and minimum was 115 million JPS and it's throttled to 71% of its max performance for this Redmi Note 10. It is a little bit throttling only but guys listen the actual ROM itself the MIUI 14 type something U version was too much laggy. This is far more better I can say. This is just the app result but to be uh, experience the way you should see day to day experience it is really really good i really liked it and you can see it is a typical pixel experience rom you get this kind of brightness slider you won't get any toggle here auto brightness or anything like that even in the edit section if you can find that check it out no the other things are really smooth as you can see in MIUI it was lagging my variant is 4GB64 if you have 6 and 128 maybe it might be faster but in the 464 variant it's too laggy and even tried MIUI EU also but I don't want to make video on that because it's too laggy simply I can't run anything on that particular ROM hence this is pixel experience here everything is fine as you can see this is typical home screen you get if you press and hold here you get wallpaper and style widgets as I kept here and home settings you get a pixel launcher has been installed here latest one and wallpapers and style let's check out what all the wallpapers we get on device wallpapers those are the things you get no feathers just this one has been included and basic colors you can see there are plenty of options to use that even the combination of color is also given wallpaper color this is the visual change you can observe once you flash the Android 13 pixel experience rom and here also the settings and power button mode downwards as you can see that's the change you will notice in the android 13 visually apart from that you won't find any new difference app grid again you get up to 5 into 5 here the dark theme themed icons i already kept the beta you can see this how the themed icons looks like and this typical app drawer you get and starting with the benchmark results i also did geekbench scores as you can see single score 706 and multi score is 1498 and links 4.14.190 4 pixel experience kernel has been used this is an android 13 built for redmi note 10 mozito and to be frank i even checked the what i can say this one the battery charging speeds it is fine actually i would show that where is the screenshot yeah here it is you can see it's shown charging rapidly hence you can use the 33 watt charging in this particular ROM it is going to work in this ROM even with the earphones 3.5 mm headphone jack quality is really really good no problem regarding that too and the dialer it's a typical uh, Google dialer you get here in 198 uh, okay direct video call feature is missing because I'm using BSNL SIM you can see here because i have a lot more smartphone i can't use many sim card here i'm using bsn which is working fine with 3g plus i'm not getting any 4g also here i don't know what's the problem with the bsnl network but geo and airtel going to work fine even vi also i haven't faced any call drop or anything like that the network reception is fine in this rob now camera application here you get a basic camera as you can see this is the thing you will get but if you want to use any advanced gcam port it will work fine but here the arno build gcam port is getting 
crash here i don't know what's the problem in this particular rom but you might get some of the other gcam ports i'm still testing in the telegram group let's check which gcam port will uh, so support this particular rom now moving to enter to benchmark results and you can also see the app opening time meanwhile and you can see the massive 2 lakh 80 thousand and 216 is the benchmark result score in this pixel experience android 13 based rom 0 0.5 degree celsius is the uh, uh, temperature decrease actually it hasn't been raised that's really good you can experience uh, very good power efficiency in this particular rom one percentage of battery has been dropped during this uh, testing of this and to benchmark in this redmi note 10 device the mozito you can see it's really good you can experience a very good power efficiency in this particular rom even the performance the smoothness in the ui is also really really great in this particular rom now moving into drm information you can see here you get level one certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom now moving into safety net status you can see here it get passed you can watch all the Oh, sorry you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know usb whatever you want to use those apps going to work fine no problem regarding that geekbench course i already shown you google pay as i said it going to work fine if you want to use magics you can use that and use some of the anx camera builds also but as of now i haven't tried it to be frank if you want you can try that out now let's move into actual settings this is a typical pixel experience from you won't find any huge customizations not even a huge just not even a customization it's very simple even to turn on the battery percentage for example go to battery and select here battery percentage and turn it on battery saver has been given extreme battery saver options are also given and the battery life as i said before it's really really good you can experience around seven to eight hours even nine to ten hours also depends upon your usage guys this how the particular rom for Poco, uh, sorry redmi note 10 the mojito you can see here that's how it is and uh, moving to security options you get a face and fingerprint unlock if i go into more security options you will also get the uh, no app lock is not given encryption currency it is encrypted let me show you the face unlock and fingerprint unlock first the fingerprint unlock you can see it's very very quick and you also get that obling effect now let's check the face unlock it's also quick to unlock your smartphone the redmi note 10 using this pixel experience rom isn't this good let me know in the comment section guys and also like the video if you like the video and uh, moving into the actual settings i was explaining the battery now we'll go to sound and vibration you can see here media player you can enable or disable from adaptive sound just enable that it might boost your audio and based upon environment and uh, vibration and haptics again you can individually select the intensity of the vibration in different modes and uh, you won't get any direct sound settings you just get phone ringtone and other notification tones here and display again here also adaptive brightness and dark theme it's not in pitch black condition that's quite obvious in pixel experience rom you can see here that's fine and screen share display size and six again night light it's also intensity given and even you can schedule it out colors option only three are given i kept it saturated to look a little bit vibrant in my video tap to wake is also given auto rotate screen is given and access built menu which is a handy feature in any android 12 13 based custom roms with using this shortcut without actually using the physical buttons you can use them as you can see volume up and down and other options you can see on the screen this is really a handy feature you should definitely use in this kind of rom and other privacy settings you can see here those are present here location as i said google maps everything is working fine no problem regarding that and system if i go into system again into gestures into quickly open camera gesture is even on stop actions has been given one handed mode is also working fine as you can see swipe through three finger screenshot hasn't given here and system navigation if i go into gesture navigation you get a left edge right edge sensitivity from low to high you can adjust and swipe to invoke assistant also you can enable or disable from here prevent ringing vibrate you can enable or disable from here you get even system update option here but i recommend to flash through recovery if you want a flashing method video just comment down below i will be making the flashing video also flashing method video for this particular rom if you have any specific doubts regarding this rom also you can comment down below i can answer them if i can possibly this how the redmi note 10 pixel experience rom the mojito 
for redmi note 10 the latest version with february security patch it's really good smooth custom rom available for redmi note 10 you can definitely flash this rom that's my conclusion in this video and if you're still not subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button guys and we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keeps smelling bye bye for now